Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are going to create this nice typing animation or typewriter effect using a JavaScript library called TypeJS. So let's get started. I have created a folder here called typing animation and on that folder I have created two files, one for the HTML and another for the CSS. We just need a little bit of CSS. Now let's open it using the Visual Studio code or any other code editor if you want. And here, let's put the HTML5 boilerplate code using the shortcut. And let's link the CSS file first. So the name is style.css. Yes. Now let's put a div inside the body tag. So let's name it container. And here, let's put a h1. And on the h1, we'll put the text I am um, buffer. This text will be replaced by the animation later, so let's put it inside a spun element. And let's give it a class name of um, animation or whatever you want. Let's give it like animated. Yep. Now We'll have to use a library for the typing animation. The name of the library, JavaScript libraries, is TypeJS. So let's search it on the internet. And let's click the GitHub link. And if you go down a little bit, you'll see a option called CDN. So we'll have to copy this code. And we'll have to put uh, it right before the closing body tag. Okay, now we have connected the library. Now we'll have to initialize the library. So we'll have to put some code here. Uh, let's uh, declare a variable type and equals to new. So the name of the class is typed. So here we will have to put two arguments. The first argument is a class name. So in that case, the class name is animated. The class name of the animated text. So in this case, it is animated, dot animated. And the second argument will be a, an object. So you'll have to start it with the uh, uh, curly brackets basis. Now here, first of all, we'll have to put uh, the strings. So strings. We'll put uh, three strings here. It will be actually an array. So you'll have to put the array brace. Now here, let's put the first one. Uh, the first one should be like developer. Second one, we can put designer. And the third one, let's put whatever you want. You can play around with it. For this th third one, let's put freelancer. Now, on, th on this object, the second element will be speed of the typing. So type speed is, let's put 200 millisecond. Then back speed, 200. And then let's put loop uh, will be true because it will be looping through as it will be uh, when it finish it will start from the beginning again now let's uh, remove this text this placeholder text it will take from this uh, javascript code now if we check it on the browser so let's open it using the browser so yep the animation is working now we can make it a little bit better look we can use some css so let's put some CSS here. Let's put the container height, minimum height, um, height 100 VS. So it will take the 100% uh, of the screen size, virtual height VS means. And let's uh, make it to, ma to make the text centered vertically and horizontally. We'll give it a display flex and align items center. It will make the text vertically center and then justify content center 
justify content center it will make the text horizontally centered now if you look at it yeah it is now centered now we can uh, change the color of the animation to um, something else so here uh, the class is animated so let's put a different color for the animated color uh, we can put orange now if we check yeah it is showing on a different color so uh, that's it for today i think you have understood clearly let me know in the comment if you have any question and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you